thing about y'all's boot camp. Ah. Chavez, you go first. Why me? Oh my God, Hopkins, you Thank go. You I'm trying to save Hopkins for last because I know Hopkins is going to be like, oh, um, I was <laughs> yo, man. So, I was so like, dog. everything was hard for me. Um, everything was hard for me. I think. Uh, I wasn't eating. I think just being away from home no, was kind of hard. No. Like, I just got uh, I'm so used to seeing my mom and talking to my mom and shit, and then like her oh, communication to be cut. That, that was pretty crazy. hard. Going through boot camp during a pandemic was hard as fuck because we got it wrong. Wait, is uh, is the person you're on Facetime asking you about it? Okay, but I found he, it. He in the army. He was asking. Um and motherfucking. Okay, y'all. Um, I was. Fucking, I was a fucking flag. We are finally flag. making our fucking boot camp experience video. Okay, wait, wait. wait. And one, two, three, rolling. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to record our boot camp experience COVID 2020 video. Oh shit, my bad. I know it's that low. <laughs> We are live straight from Great Lakes, Illinois. I don't know why I saw everybody in Chicago. Cause it, we're in North Chicago. So it's like Chicago and then we're above it? Yeah, we're in North Chicago. Okay. So me and Jones, it's not plugged in over there. No way, So me and Jones made a list of stuff that we're gonna talk about because boot camp was fucking brutal. And we need to talk about it. It was really hard. I don't think it was that hard. It wasn't as hard as what I thought it was gonna be, but it's challenging. It's more mental than physical, in They're my blogging. opinion. It's definitely all mental. They're vlogging. Vlogging. Can I help you? That's my roommate, Chavez. She was at boot camp with us. Okay, so I think we should start off with the initial bullshit ass 14 day quarantine at I the think hotel. We should too. I think we should too. I think that was that shit It's so wait, what hotel were you in again? Holiday Inn. I was on Holiday Inn, third floor. You was on the third floor? Yes. Who's your room number? Um, I forgot my room number, but I was with the uh, roommate when it was Outlaw, Granville, and Adam. Somebody had was singing like Kodak Black or something. Hey, third and floor was get. It was ghetto. I was it was ghetto. Three, three, three. All at the same time. Oh, it was all the way down there. Yeah, we was three. I think it was three fifty. Actually, I think it's on one of my fucking. Hey, that initial 14 day quarantine, it fucking sucked. Cause you dead ass like. Well, depending. Okay, wait. Who was your roommate? Gonzalez. Oh, see, my roommate, me and my her. Roommate was cool though. Like, like she was cool. We just watched Criminal Minds all day. No, me and fucking Gonzalez was watching real like them TLC reality TV shows. Like 90 Day Fiance. Bitch, why was yes. it so funny? It was funny. Bro. It was so funny. Oh. And then we was watching um Below Deck. I never watched that show in my life. Below Deck. Wait. And one of the people overseas on the boat. Yes. We would watch that too. You just had to find like you had to find things to do if you weren't studying. Okay, you know what? So y'all don't get fucking confused because I know when I was watching YouTube videos and they was just talking, I was like, what the fuck are they talking about? So when you get on your plane ride and they send you off after you leave MEPS to go to Chicago, like, I'm just going to let y'all know, once you get on that plane ride and you get to that airport in Chicago, you're there. It really sets in. And you don't realize it because you go, they give you like a food waiver ticket shit and you have to go get food and they tell you get your food and go straight to the what is those they they tell you go straight to where they tell you to go because i don't know if i can even tell y'all but you go sign in man how was yours because i know i remember we was we waited and then they called us and said hey you guys are supposed to be down here blah 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 blah, blah. so we get down there where we had to go and i'm walking up i'm on the phone with my husband and like all you hear is get the fuck off the phone turn See, your fucking phones so, off okay y'all came late so i came before y'all then because what happened yeah. is we i just said you have legs oh my gosh so what had happened is we um we came we came to the um airport they made us sign in they asked us the size of like skivvy yeah but they yelled at us first to turn off our fucking phone no because when we had signed in or whatever they said go get a bag meal and go sit down and eat it so we were like all right bet 
Well, no, they didn't say go eat it. They said wait till you get to the hotel. So I was like, all right, bet. I was sitting there. I called my mom. I said, I made it to the hotel. I'm here safe. And then I got on Instagram doing what I was doing. At the hotel or at the airport? No, at the airport. When I was on my phone on Instagram, that's when y'all had walked in and he was like, it was a really tall man. He was white. Yeah. He said, get the fuck off the phone. Turn the fucking phones off. Put it in your bags. And I, I was like, like baby, I gotta oh, go. God. I love you. He's like, he's like, I love you. Be strong. Be safe. You got this. And I was like, I love you, baby. I'll call you when I can. <laughs> I was like, oh, snap. And then they made us sit apple, crisscross applesauce on the floor. And all I could think was like, what did I just get myself Facts. into? I was like, like, all right, we here. We fucking here. We don't know what's going on. We sit in there. And then you see people leaving, like the group's leaving. And then, oh, so you left before us. Mm-hmm. So we waiting. I'm like watching because I'm just like, okay, how long we finna fucking wait? So like, we got there like around four or five ish. We didn't our fucking bus. We didn't get on the bus until like ten something. See, we got we didn't get in the hotel rooms until like eleven or twelve. And, and we even then we still had to try on bathing suits and stuff like that. That shit was for the birds. It really was. Cause then we got there and like it was late. I was Ooh. tired. Then they're just like, I see, because from the boot camp videos I watch, like, you usually do that in P days where you get all your stuff. But mm -hmm. since we was going to be quarantined, they was doing that process of P days at the, hotel. at the hotel, like, before they even put you in your room. So we're sitting there. get your seat bag when you get to the hotel it has all your stuff in it literally like oh, she she's what it came it comes with a whole basically whatever you fucking need for boot camp they make you put all your shit you have in the box you don't need nothing but your fucking body literally like you don't need all nothing. that shit off and nothing. right in the box because you ain't don't even ask oh don't ask them if you can keep anything mm -mm. just put everything in the box don't even ask questions about books no put it in there and if they say you can have a book, you don't need it. That shit gonna be thrown out right when you get to boot camp because your RDC is not even gonna let you keep it. Unless you can fit it in your A and B drawer. But you don't wanna do that because you don't need your A and B drawer for other stuff. But sure. definitely when you leave for boot camp, don't bring nothing with you. You don't fucking need it. Nothing at all. Bring your paperwork that you need and that's all you need. Don't bring nothing because you're gonna have to put it your phone, that's it. That's all you need is your phone. That's it nothing else no clothes no nothing and if you do bring a book because they tell you you can bring a book you're not going to need it because you're going to get your blue jackets man yeah go ahead and pull the training guide out that they're going to be studying <laughs> you're going to get this big old beautiful book right here the blue jackets manual this is the bible this is the bible that's going to be what compartment is that in it'll be somewhere in your rack You'll never touch it because we barely even use that. We never read it as a unit. Th that's the Bible. Mm -hmm. Read that. The Bible. Study this. This Every is your day. phone. What did, what did, what she did she say? call it? Um, what? This is your face chat. That's your, what he called um, it? I don't know. Your Insta chat? Insta chat. No, he said that he said uh, your Insta recruit Navy. Book. Recruit book. Recruit snap. Yep, there you go. He called it the recruit snap. He said... He said, y'all have our Facebook. Right. <laughs> uh, Recruit Facebook, thought. right here. Yeah, it's like, this right here is literally everything. This is how you're going to survive This literally boot camp. tells you everything you're going to do in each event in boot camp. Even the gun range. Yes, everything. It tells you everything. All your tests, in this book. All your Come answers, on. in this book. Everything you need to do, in this book. This book is your holy grail. Bible. Study it. Do not go to quarantine. Sit in that hotel for 14 days and not study that book. What? Tell them the things that they need to learn first so they can get ready for standing watch. Learn your <laughs> general orders. <laughs> hey, know your general orders. Wait. Know your fucking, um, say, well, not so much the Sailor's Creed. Chain of command. Learn, learn your, your chain, chain of command. Of command. Uh, and Learn at least, before you get to boot camp, learn at least your chain of command from the president down because when you get to boot camp, you have to learn your chain of command from boot camp. So you don't want to just clusterfuck yourself. So that's available on Google. You can Google chain of command starting from the president and it's on there. Learn it, memorize it. Ranked in recognition. Yes. Study it now. It's 
whatever um what's that book that they got in the debt program you have the oh, booklet. I have it. I have it. Okay, good. You need to show them that because that booklet has all the answers to that first test that can get you advanced. This one. Please study that. Study that. It's not a waste of paper. It's not a waste of time. Let me find it. That as like this will make your boot camp experience so much easier. easy. Your Sailor's Creed is in oh, here. Um, Everything you need. There are 11 general orders. This page right here is the page that's going to learn it. Because <laughs> you will be honestly, you will be set if you know those things. And it, it might seem like simple ass things before you go. But literally, those are the things that are going to set you up to not get beat, to not get yelled at. And so honestly, if they know you don't know it, they going to fuck with you. Until you know it. And let me tell you something. Because there's one thing that my chief said. There's a lot of things that my chief said that stuck with me. But one thing is that he told all of my division, stand and watch. When they ask you questions up there, it's a lonely place if you don't know shit. Hey, hey. <laughs> I remember one morning, right? Am I right, Who are you looking for? Oh. Who you know she with? Who? Her? Uh, yeah. No, I have no idea. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Like dead ass. Like I remember one morning, I fucking had to stand watch in the morning, and it was like right when Chief and Petty Officer came in, and that's when we still had Petty Officer Tracy. Oh. Hey, but I knew he was coming in, so I already knew I was gonna fuck up. <laughs> oh yeah, and he made you do air chairs. That was it air chairs? Yeah. It was air chairs. It was. I was like, fuck, man. And then it's like. We had a petty officer who he came in, but then he left. Like, he wasn't even with us from the beginning to the end. He was, like, in there in the middle because he had got sent to the, um, he had to go to do duty at the fucking hotel and shit. So, everybody was sad, but it is what it is. But he asked me who was the fucking, it was one of the higher ups. And I was just, I said the wrong answer. I think it was, like, who was the, I think it was, like, who was the commander of NETC? I think so. And I was just like, I said the wrong answer. I knew it was the wrong answer because he said, hydrate. Mm. <laughs> I said, <"Fuck." laughs> Damn. hey, he was like, he didn't like beating us. He like, really did He did not like beating us. So it was early in the morning. It was like six in the morning. And he was like, he beat me. But he didn't beat me for long. But he was just like, yo, man, you're supposed to know this stuff. I said yes, petty officer. <laughs> You're right. Mm. And I still, even after that, never studied it. But it was a very hard place for me not knowing those answers. So don't be me. Be better than me. And this is what it is. Know this. Know these. Right here. Know that. Know that. Know that. Know it. Learn it. Memorize it. Let it be your life. Make flashcards. Whatever the fuck you need to do to know this page. If you know this page inside and out before you go to boot camp boot camp is gonna be easy fucking song? breezy easy day okay we need to start talking about p days because they need to know what what the hell they're gonna be experiencing for the i feel like p days months. was such a blur so i need you to help me bring it back up p days actually okay during the whole COVID 19 thing we don't get the night of arrivals how sailors usually get it where you get off the bus and they're like oh, like the, it wasn't even like that it was literally in the middle of the day we got off the bus somebody led us to the compartment that we would stay in during p days and it was just like a it was like a jail okay it was like a jail like you know when we like at the end of boot camp when we finally could okay yeah height long we could go down there by ourselves whatever p days we couldn't even do that <laughs> I'm trying to remember once we got when we got off the buses, did they put us straight into a compartment? Yeah, they did. Remember, we went straight into um, that one compartment that we stayed in. That was the one compartment that we always the had. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you get off the bus, they put you into this compartment, and they tell you like, pick, did they tell us pick a rack? They did tell us yeah. to pick a rack. They told us pick a rack. It ain't gonna be a pick a rack. Yeah, they did. They yes, said they did. They said, but it won't stay the same. Well, for us, hustling our stuff, basically everything you would do, we just started doing. It fucking sucked because we didn't know what the fuck was going on. They're literally just listen, do, wait. Listen, do, wait. 
That's what you do. That's how you'll get through it. Listen, <laughs> do, wait. Don't overthink and listen, because I never get you anywhere. It's what I did. You know, complicate the shit out of things. Wait. Honestly, when they told us to do something, it's totally common sense. Like. It's nothing too complicated. Okay, that's the thing. Like, it's nothing complicated. It's not, but you're so listen. frantic during the time where you're like, oh my God. Because you're overthinking. You don't want to fuck up. Yeah, you don't want to fuck up. You don't want to make a mad, but you want to do it in the time limit that they want it done. Because if you fuck up, they're going to be like, what the fuck are you doing? What yeah. the fuck is wrong with you? Are you a fucking idiot? I hate my life. Yeah. So, you got to just <laughs> listen. <laughs> and don't go steps ahead. Please don't. Don't get that uh, great idea, Fairy. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> that shit will get you beat the hell up. Like in the regular civilian yeah, world, it's like, oh, I have a bright idea on how we can do this better. No. 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 If it ain't Chief Way, it no. ain't no way. No. Do it the way they tell you. If they have any, if they want any suggestions on how to do something different or better, they will ask you. But unless you're asked, don't do it. Because... It's gonna get you into some shit, and then you're gonna be into some shit, and then you're gonna be mad because ain't nobody gonna help you participate in your consequences of your shit. They really At least not in the beginning. Definitely not in the beginning, but P days. Then we got our shots. Mm, peanut butter shot. We gotta talk about that. What um, else happened in P days? No, in P days before we had the peanut butter shot. Remember when we went to go get our ID? No. Okay, so you guys know the part. I'm sure you guys probably watched that video of Night of Arrival from Obu Camp where you got to line up and they're yelling at everybody. You remember that part? Mm -hmm. The whole time you're doing that, just focus, stand forward. Stand forward and just listen. Don't be the one to fuck up. Don't be the one to look around. Don't call a fucking chief a petty officer. Mm, please don't. Do not step on a flag. <laughs> oh, God. Please don't step on a flag. Yes, don't step on the flag because that's the most disrespectful thing and you will get chewed out for it. That will make you obvious. Remember when the girl dropped all those papers in the middle? <laughs> Wait, y'all were there? Yes. No, that was mine. And tell me why we were trying to pick up all the papers. <laughs> and then she goes, why the fuck are you looking at everybody's personal information? That is so disrespectful. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. How were you? Do it again. You gotta do it again. Do it again. I was like, what the fuck? And then I just like grabbed the camera. I was like, hell no. Yo, and I was looking and I was like, I seen it because like, you don't want to turn your head. Don't turn your head. But I'm looking from the side. I was like, I knew it was somebody do some stupid ass shit. Like, that shit was fucking crazy. But anyways, while you're there, shut the fuck up. Don't talk. Don't ask the person next to you no questions. Just listen to what they're telling you to do and move fast. Move with a purpose. Don't move slow and don't. Because when you go to um, um, that part where they're yelling at you and shit like that, you're going to take a picture and they're going to. Um, it's going to be the ugliest picture of your life. Don't think you're going to be cute. Everybody got a hit ass ID. I know I do. And it's going to be your ID until you rank up to a petty officer. So just Good accept luck. it. <laughs> but definitely listen during that time. What else did we do? You're going to have medical checks. You're going to have. Um, what is it vision eye checks whatever yo dead ass if you have anything medically wrong with you like when you get to boot camp like if you got any female issues or anything like that or fucking you um need some ivy pro like whatever the fuck you need do that shit while you're in the hotel oh, do not do not wait like Wait, but I will or say... Or P-Days. Like, once you get into P-Days, if you have any fucking concerns, like, you're going to go to female wellness. And female wellness is the place. Like, if you have... Uh, bad cramps. Or you might think you might have bad cramps when you're on boot camp. Because I didn't really get bad cramps, and then I got my period really heavy. I'm going to say this. You think your period is going to be... Well, you said your period was heavy. Mine was so heavy. A lot of the, the females period. that I talk to, you think you'll get your period and it'll be normal as fuck. It's not gonna be normal as fuck. Your body is gonna be under a lot of stress. So your period might come late. It might be different. You might not even have cramps. You might not even get a motherfucking period. I ain't get a period. You didn't get a period? 
I got a period in quarantine at the hotel, and then like two weeks later, I got my period again at boot camp, and it was heavy. Like, at the so end, heavy. I got one. I got one, but it was light. I had no cramps, and it literally mm. lasted for four days. And everybody gets their period at the same time. Yeah. Everybody. There's no way around it. Like everybody's going to get their period at the same time. You're in a division with like overnight, like not no less than 90 females. You're going to sync with each other. There's no way around it. Good luck with the attitudes, baby. What else happened in P days? Our shots, our peanut butter shots. Peanut I, butter shot is real. Did you hurt? Yeah, you didn't hear me cuss when they fucking stuck that shit in me. Did you get sore afterwards? Yeah. Like, fucking cheek felt bad for me. Dog. Chavez, did you hurt after nice. your peanut butter shot? What? Did you hurt after your peanut butter shot? Like, after the aftermath pain? Yeah. Yeah, I hurt for like four days. Like, I couldn't really? sleep on my side. Yeah. Not only that, but the pain alternated to my other side. Mm -hmm. So I had to sleep like this. <laughs> for like the longest fucking time. Wait, you had a what? Like, because it was like one side that I got the shot on, then the other side, and I was like, fuck me. So, yeah. I didn't hurt, and like, then I remember like, I had to go to the yeoman brief, because... I fucking volunteered to be yelling. Good job. <laughs> good job is a good fucking job. That's gonna be a whole nother video. I'm not even gonna talk about that don't right now. Don't volunteer for jobs. Like, unless you want to get. Me don't volunteer for a job unless you are you mentally strong. If you can't take pressure and you can't not and you can't persuade people to listen to you, don't do it because you're gonna waste your time. You're gonna get chewed out and you're gonna have the most stressful time period. And also too, like if you can't take someone yelling at you, like chief like a chief or petty officer yelling in your face consistently don't fucking do it i wanted to be our talk to until they stopped the entire um division to be and then they beat my Buddhist because she didn't get the right she didn't call set, it on the right foot. Like, never mind lol. she did get beat outside i um, felt bad another thing if you short you automatically gonna be a flag i'm just gonna put that out there if you're 14 even for 11. Oh, people don't want to shot. Y'all didn't finish it. We didn't tell them what to do. You, uh, yeah. Rub oh. the bottle. You're going to have a hydration. Let's see my hydration tool. You're going to get one of these. Not with lemons in it. But <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going to have no lemons unless you at the galley. But, um, rub it on your leg. That's what a lot of people were doing. I wasn't affected by it. I was good. I told Chief. I was hype. I was ready to go to the Yeoman Brief. He was like, Yeoman, did you get your shot? Because you're not fucking acting like it. And I was like, nah, Chief, I'm good. Because they said if you got ass, it don't hurt. Um, <laughs> wearing those fucking sweats in the heat. Oh, those sweats and boots? <laughs> yes. yes. That is sick <laughs> That's so ratchet. <laughs> I love that fit. That's my favorite fit. Yo, we um, had to fucking wear our sweats during P-Day. I didn't they did that shit on purpose. With, it was a sweater so wrapped around your waist and your cute little boots. Yeah, loved it. That loved are it gonna get scratched the fuck up. That are gonna get tore the fuck up. Hey, that shit was miserable. I said, why are we in? And then on top of that, you have to wear your PT shorts under your sweats. So That's you're so single. fucking hot. Don't be that Tell one recruit who doesn't wear their sweat. I mean, their shorts under their sweats. Who who did that? I don't know. Don't be that one recruit, please. Don't be that one recruit on. that doesn't work out before they come to boot camp. Boom. Please. Because after P days, your last day of P days, you're gonna take your um, baseline. There's gonna be a lot of marching, and if you go in the summer, it's gonna be heat. Heat. It happens only. Yeah, you might roll them sleeves up, but that don't do shit. Your legs inside are gonna stick. And if you're yeoman, you're gonna carry a heavy ass briefcase. <laughs> Yo, why? <laughs> I got, like, dead ass. I think I had PTSD low-key. Like, man, I remember, I didn't know what I was getting myself into with being young, man, but we're not going to talk about that right now. And if you're a flag, especially stick one, get ready. Stand the fuck by. Stand the fuck by. Ooh. Nah, P-Days. And then all we knew through P-Days was, like, everybody, nobody was listening, nobody was acting right, but all we knew is when you, when you're fucking bad, you get the but you can't get beat during P days because um, you have to get cleared. I'm gonna like this. Oh, medically. And your fucking um, your fucking RDCs are like, wait till this shit's no, up. No, no, wait no, till no, this no. Shit's okay, up. so in the beginning, our RDCs wasn't there. We didn't get our RDCs until like the what was it, the third day? Yes. So we was having like different RDCs coming in and out, and then we got our RDCs on the third day, and uh, 
the petty officers that were just watching over us were like, yeah, you guys are going to meet your RDCs, blah, 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 blah. Because we're doing a YouTube video and I got on the phone with you. You want to say hi? She's so irritating. Yeah. Say hi. He's saying hi. He That's so funny. So you're going to hear our baby boot camp stories. We're going to send you the link when we're done. But no, that ass. So... I remember when Petty Officer and Chief came in, I was like, hmm, okay. Okay, we'll be right back. We have to do that cluster, so. And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> and we have some newcomers. We have, say your name. Oh. Okay, so where do we leave off at? We left off on fucking... Bitch, you covering my face up. Okay, training. Training, that's where we left off at. After P days, when you start training. <laughs> what the heck doing me? Training? Yeah, when we ended P days. Didn't we get beat oh. like the day after? We got beat on the day of P5 after we did our... Um, Why did we PFA? get beat? No, we couldn't. We couldn't. No, it was, after, it was after we did our PFA. No, after oh, we did the PFA. That's where we left off on. Baseline. After we did the PFA, we got beat. Jones, I said, oh, make sure PFA. y'all are conditioned run. before you go to boot camp. Every single day, run on gravel. <laughs> Do not run on a right? treadmill. Run on the this. fucking ground because it's different. Run in your pockets, man. Fucking run. They fight all day. No, run, dead ass. Like, run no less than two miles and strive for running two, what, under 15 minutes? Two miles? Run under 15, 15 minutes. Yeah. You well, want your of your age because fucking alpha Language. Alpha female is fourteen forty five, which is me. Minute and fifteen each lap. So yeah. No, minute and ten. Try to push a minute right. and ten. And if you're old like me, I have you as a friend on Facebook. Um, you're gonna have fifteen fifty. I do. But you don't want that. You want to get. Yeah, you want to get less than fifteen less minutes too. Because there's a little bonus. I'm not gonna tell you how much it is. You work that out with your recruiter. But there's a little bonus if you pass your PFA, no, I told your baseline. You. So and like and only like what three because i think only three people out of fucking 90 right. something information. got that bonus I can't anything I don't know got in my first because yeah pass that shit because one thing you don't want to do as soon as you fail that shit or you not pass it within the 18 minutes because you have 18 minutes to do it you already setting yourself back yeah because now you have to like go do like this fucking sh shit to like be able to run and all this extra shit it takes time from your other training and then you're bullshitting and you don't want that period so just fucking run and then it's also mean. you don't want the rdc's to be like look at this weak bitch yeah because they don't, they don't, don't need no cap that's the what they're thing supposed about to it is though is if you're if you know you're weak at running or push-ups or sit up push yourself more. practice on that and push yourself yeah like, beyond really your limits push yourself because everything is a mental game it's not a physical spiritual none of that it's a that mental part, game yeah. so if you push if you say in your brain like oh i can do it like literally just say oh i can do it you're gonna do it facts do what i did yell yes, at yourself honey. while you're yes, running facts yeah i yelled at myself too i was like not like legit yell at yourself not while gonna you're running. be a weak oh, yeah. i yelled like, at I, myself I, I, people I look at me stupid like, but i still pass so and then cry you're gonna cry and it's okay everybody's it's okay. crying it's better to cry and do it because like once you cry like for those like 10 seconds you're gonna be like okay like i'm crying and but I'm you made it, running, it so it's not like it's a bad thing so mm -hmm. you just keep keep going oh, okay. like go through the pain like just tell you like in your head like tell yourself like you yeah, eventually have to stop but stop after your time okay. because they'll give you time after your run to like cool down and all that stuff but just keep going don't fucking stop if you don't stop you'll be good and that's for the official pfa too when you do the official pfa the same, same thing like literally like that's a milestone that you graduate in and you don't want to fail that shit like fucking run do not show up to boot camp not knowing how to run do push-ups or sit-ups i don't know where she's at but fucking run because if you if you if you don't pass your pfa you finna get set back three weeks and the worst thing you could do is sit there and listen to a motherfucker cry because they got to call their family and tell them that they got set back for not being able to run You want to have my YouTube? Hey. <laughs> what else should we tell them What's about? What y'all already spoke about? We already spoke about P days, the initial quarantine. Um, Burn your motherfucking heart out, even for the uh, 
RDC, RDC assessment. assessment. Oh, forgot about that. Oh yeah, for the RDC assessment too, because they'll set you back if you don't pass the RDC assessment as well. Oh, I fuck set you back. No, you put, if you don't put your effort in for that RDC, RDC assessment, no. you ain't winning that last one. Oh yeah, that's what it's made. It's made. It's made. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I already said that one. What you're gonna do? It's made to see how you're gonna run. Because if you pass the RDC, you in there for the official. Yeah, you're good. You're gonna you're mentally, you're gonna be good. Right, you're gonna be good. Off but if you did this bullshit, basically the RDC assessment, you're you're. I know I told myself when I passed the RDC and you can get it down because I fucking ran my baseline at 1750 like 1750 right on the cut then I ran my RDC assessment at 1530 and then I ran my um my official at 14 something that's what I did my baseline I did 16 and I did better than me and I'm younger and then my fucking final I did at 12 12 it's all mental. You just gotta keep going. Like, don't fucking stop. Oh, like, job. whatever it is that's gonna motivate you, like, <laughs> you're gonna hold on you to that. A minute, a lap, literally. Hold on to literally. that shit. Yeah. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, we gotta oh, talk oh, about Rom. Oh my god, I thought I was done. We gotta talk about Rom. Okay. Talk about Rom. Wash your fucking hands. Hi. That food sucks ass. Here? Wait. No. That's what I, I mean, <laughs> I didn't see you yesterday. If you was in the hotel and you know how that went, with that food. I was here chilling. In my water. opinion, oh the food. Fast. Wait, wait, the food in the first room. When y'all get there, y'all finna be eating bag nasties. It, just don't complain, cause you finna waste all your energy on complaining. Like, just fucking change it. it. You can't change. They're not going to change it. But at least yes, when, when, when you don't complain enough, they change it. No, say you're a vegetarian. They did us. Tell them you're a vegetarian. vegetarian. Tell them you're a vegetarian. Well, I said you're a vegetarian. They didn't give you shit. Huh? If you tell them that you're a vegetarian, they'll give it to you. You gotta say something. If you don't say something when they ask. Cause they, uh, some of them don't care. Yeah. But because when we went, nice. when we went to our second rom, when we was like in training and got rom, the people was vegetarian. They was just like, oh. <laughs> Are you still making? <laughs> no. Hold, no, you rocking the no. man. You have to edit this shit out of this. I break it up. No. I'm not putting more more than like 25 minutes. We already there. But yeah, so ROM. Okay, so we got rom because 17 people out of our 93 got COVID. Oh. 17? 17 out of our 93 got COVID. We got COVID. We don't know how many people had COVID, but we know a lot of people oh, had it because they was just so coughing funny. and sneezing and throwing up in the middle of the night. You're they not slick. They shit because they don't want to get in isolation. And they oh, friends. No, Is your friend throwing up? I I'm telling. I took that shit get like the, Get them out. I'm telling. Because you got to think about You're it. risking like, it for everybody else. And everybody's trying to graduate. People want to go home. So it's like, wash your fucking hands. Stay the fuck away from Push each other. Six up. feet. Wear your mask. As I didn't bring mine in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to have mine home while I'm talking. I'm report this fucking video like they're not six feet apart and they don't have a fucking mask I'm on. I'm six feet. I don't remember when. Hey. Hey. No, no. You got to show them how they're supposed to wear their mask. And, and this is, fuck? yeah, this is how you have to wear your mask like this. If you get caught, you know, not wearing it like this. One, you can't like wear this, this mask. You can't wear this mask. You got only got to wear that one and another one. No, this is the one that they give you in boot camp at first. Skibbies. You see when skibbies. Oh. This yeah. is the one that they give you when you get to the hotel. No. Yeah, when you get to the hotel, you get this one. We got that in our blue jackets manual. So you get this one. I got a neck gator because I get out. Don't you get this one? Can hey, y'all let me fucking around. record this video? They gonna think something wrong with my school. I hate say it. Stupid ass. So you're going to get this mask. Don't fucking lose it. Don't fucking lose it. And wash it. Wash it, please. Wash yes. it. Do this. Do this. Please do it. Do wash this. it yourself yes. and then give it to them to wash it. Yes. They have to wash it. After they say they bleach it. No, they don't. After a child, wipe your mouth, wipe your face, and put your mask on. That friend is lying on the fucking camera. This ain't fraternization. <laughs> That is right. That is right. That is right. Like, like, that ass, wear your mask. Keep your mask on. Uh, you're gonna get this one when you upgrade. When you get to a point where you're worthy, you're gonna get this one. It ain't when you're Not that. It is when you're worthy because the people that got COVID and they came back, they never got these masks. They stayed with these masks. Not saying that they wasn't worthy, but mm, I disagree. That's last year. She's our duty section uh, leader for. We'll talk about that in A school, in our A school video. Mm -hmm. You ain't more than six feet apart. You got to put your mask on and make camera. She not even. Oh, you ain't on. I ain't on camera. Ha. What is it? You just love the same. We're not on camera, so it's good.
Yeah. And Shorty got the fat. Oh, yeah. Shorty. I do want to be the rover. Okay, so, um, what else? What else? Rom. Rom fucking sucks the second time. I don't know what Rom's like. Shut up, Kelly. Look, we went into Rom. It fucking sucks. You ain't doing nothing. You can't work out. Oh, my God. I saw a piece of the other day, but it was broken. I was going to give it to you. It was broken, though. What kind was it? It was a red one. What do you mean? A lot of this. Yeah. I know you're talking about what? She didn't text you back. Yeah, don't hear back. Oh. What do you mean? Oh, it was broken? Like in half or something? Or the back of it? The back of it. Did it have like two prongs? Like, or just have one? Anything went wrong. Wash your fucking hands. Stay the fuck away from each other. Don't be pressing. Don't be breathing up on each other. Just stay the fuck away. <laughs> just fucking don't. Just don't. It's not fucking worth it. Stay off each other's ass. Period. Unless they tell you heel to toe. Oh, yeah. Only time you cannot wear a mask when you're hygiene and when you're sleeping. Or you're getting beat. Yeah. yeah. They're going to tell you. Hydrate. Oh, hydrate. You got I fucking hate it hearing that. You, you got 30 seconds to hydrate. Y'all want to talk about watch, shower, right. drama, relationships? Shower. Let me tell you about showers. You See, now, now. Yeah. Look, yeah. 15 seconds. It depends. Oh, it's a hydrate? Your RDC is. My first RDC is, you know, you got your shower shoes. You can wear those from the compartment to the head. But my second division, I got in trouble the first night. They have to wear their tennis shoes. Who the fuck told you to wear shower shoes in the compartment? You don't wear shower shoes in the compartment. I could in my first division, but the second division, you had to wear your tennis shoes to the head, but bring your shower shoes with you. That's the most. And same way, vice versa. See, well, that, now we, uh, our chief let us do that from the beginning. Like, he let us take, like, change, like, dress down in our rack and then put our shower shoes, go to the, like, head and come back. But after hygiene, you could not do that. Like, during hygiene, you could, but after, you fucking couldn't. And we had, I think I we had, had nice RDC, so. I think we had, like, three, three minutes. For what? To hygiene. <laughs> what? Who? <laughs> Or That's something crazy. like that. That's we crazy. had 90 something people. It was like everybody I had, had 90. A, I had 91 girls. Yeah, and we had like, I don't know, but it has to be up there. 10 minutes. That's the that majority or mass, 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 maximum number to shower. But <laughs> it's a whole bunch of girls. Depends on your section for one. And <laughs> yo, and wash your ass when you get into the shower. Like, That's all you need to do. Don't talk. Shut up. Don't talk. Just take yeah, a shower and get out. Well, we're trying to have a whole conversation in the shower. The head echoes a lot. Yes, it's loud. I mean, when I tell you, you think you think you're quiet, you're loud. No, y'all are much loud. You can be in the you can be in the peeway, and they're if you're loud, you're they're gonna hear you. It's just that's and don't crazy. ask you your like, hey, 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 dead ass. Don't ask your leadership any said, fucking questions while they're hygiene. Anyways, don't do that. They didn't know that's the hallway. How they gonna know that? Go to learn your nervy terms now. Oh, we already went through that in the beginning, learning everything in that star I'm guide. Yeah, yeah, we already basically memorized that star guide from front to back. Mm -hmm. Yes. Don't it's not hard. I learned that shit like I did. Yeah, and you probably got beat. No, I actually didn't. Wear your shower shoes in the shower. Don't just walk in there with your feet. And don't it's stand on hey, shit. don't stand on the deck barefoot either. That's, That's disgusting. Happen. If you stand on the deck barefoot and chief or petty officer sees you, they gonna get in your ass. You might just get me. Ears? 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 It's nasty. What you what you finna do with a boot camp boo? That's recruit contact anyways. Cause yeah. you will get caught. Yes, and they will snitch on you if you think you're not gonna get caught. They're gonna snitch on you. One day. Did so you no, think? Finish it. Finish Let me finish tell you what harder. happened. Let me done. We mm -hmm. had some girls get a blanket, go in the head, put it on the floor, and let her. That was one night. They ain't say nothing. Second night, they in there looking at each other's private areas, and the rover caught them. Didn't say nothing though. Third night, they in the bed with each other. We have to. Because you know they what's going to happen? Like There's going to be the ones that's not going to snitch. going to act like they don't see nothing. There's going to be that one snitch. Every and it's going to build. Every division has a fucking snitch. A and every, hey, everybody thought I was a snitch because I was the yeoman. I was always in the office, but I fucking death. I was not the fucking snitch. I was saving people when they was getting snitched on. But I was saving people and then they was getting themselves in more trouble. Cause they was getting caught up again. 
Just don't over fucking and do over it. Over and over and over. Just don't do none of that shit. It's, it's really because good. when the right person oh, catch, yeah. sees you or catches you, they gonna tell on you. And then if it keeps yeah. happening, like chiefs gonna have no choice but to sit here and tell the shit's uh, like the LCPO. And then at you that point, stop. if you have like a feisty one, like they're gonna be mad. It's, hey, is Vasquez in class? And yeah, that's what that drama. Like that's kind of drama and relationships. Um, but with drama, people gonna talk. Everyone's gonna talk. RDCs are gonna talk about you. So why are you gonna be hurt if one of your shipmates talks about you? Like, don't even worry about it. Just do what you' supposed to do. That's what they don't. Don't think it. Just do it. Just do it. Like, don't be emotional do, about shit. Don't be don't get emotional. Don't be weak. Like no. You're gonna, like I said, it's everything. This whole thing is a mental game. Like you might come in there broken down. It's gonna break you down sooner or later. But after that, honestly, like fake it till you make it. Facts. Cause that's how I am now. Like, I mean, I actually was like, I was hurt in the beginning just because I didn't want to be there, even though this is something that I really wanted to do. Then, like, I was just basically faking it till I made it, and then I got asthma. And then I was sad, and then like all the people in my second division, they were like super loving and amazing, so that helped me. And I was actually happy after that, and like till now, like even now, like I'm still just happy just because, like for no reason. Because I think it's I made it. Where are you going? You're going to talk? Okay. okay. Bye. Just do your best to be your best. And help others. Help others. But if you're not a helpful person and you know you're not a helpful person, just fall back and let somebody who is helpful, who knows what they're doing. Because the worst thing you can do is if you don't know how to do something and you teach the wrong person the wrong thing, you don't want to be in that situation because it's not a good situation. And if you're a person, like if you're an alpha person and you know you're an alpha person, step up and be leadership because now, leadership. That's going to be a different video though. Because this one's already long as fuck. But in leadership, you have your RPOC, your A Rock, MA. Your, your MA, your Starboard, um, Starboard M, and Port Watch. You have your Yeomans, and then it goes down the list. But I'm gonna make another video for that because that's a whole other video. But respect your leadership, and if they're not doing something right, you step Take up to the that plate. place. Please do it. Please do not let them just because their leadership. It's not. Uh, it's not a um, permanent position. Like that can change. Like I had like six every day. Different... Every day is a tryout. <laughs> I had, like six different RPOCs. I was a rock, and that was like four of us. It can change. It can keep changing. We had three RPOCs. We had two a rocks. We had three MAs. Oh, MAs changed. We had too. two uh, starboard watches. Oh, those we had two the same. port watch. No, because of COVID. Oh, oh. so it switched up. I stayed Yeoman from the stayed. beginning to the fucking end. Yeah, Yeoman's, I think most of the time, Yeoman stay the same. Because uh, RDCs ain't gonna feel like teaching what to do as a Yeoman. Because uh, that's a really hard job. In the fleet and just in... I have, like training. I said, I'm gonna make a whole video separate to that. Because if you interested in being Yeoman, I'm gonna put you up on game on how to be a good Yeoman and how to... All the jobs, how to be good. Yeah, and I'm gonna find some other people too, like that. That they're good at it. Marching. Ooh, please, please, please. One, one and three is left. Two and four is right. Please. I step one Please remember that. Hey, dead ass, I couldn't fucking march. <laughs> Where's the Jones? Yes, she did. Jones left. Hey, text Jones because she got. I don't even have my phone. Okay, we back because yesterday was just a <laughs> little fucking hectic. It got a little too hectic in this room. So we had to redo it. She's so fucking goofy. So we I just asked gonna. For some chips. So we just gonna redo it. It's, it looks gloomy as fuck because it's raining outside and it's cold. And we got stuck in it. Yeah. But we left off yesterday on, what was it? I think marching. And I could not record without Jones because she ran the fuck out of here. So I could not oh. do marching without Jones being here because she was flagged at the end. Well, I was flagged the whole time. It was just different flags. But what do you want to start with on marching? Do you want to start? It fucking sucks. Mm-hmm. 
No, it don't. People, yes, it yeah, does. Yes, it does. Marching does not suck. You think it's like all cool and stuff? You think it's just walking? It is just walking. It's really not. Nah, I thought I was doing okay with marching until I got yelled at towards the end. I'm like, I've been marching this whole time, and now why am I getting yelled at at the end? That's because people was complaining on me. You did say you looked funny in the uh, graduation video, though. No, so, I mean, <laughs> you can add that clip right I feel there. funny. I used to hate marching. I used to just be all stiff and shit. Like, one, two, three, four, one. Wait, how did it go? I think it's harder. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, four, one. But uh, Malo Hulu changed it. Two, three, four, one. Four, one. And then we had an A-Rock that didn't know how to sing Cadence in one, the beginning. Two, in the beginning. Four, one. Okay, majority of the time we was in boot camp. I'm not in the beginning. So majority of the time we was in boot camp, we had a fucking uh, A-Rock that just did not sing Cadence. And I just couldn't focus. I couldn't understand why they kept her as a rock. Like, I just don't understand. Like, she was a cool person, but she just could not sing Cadence to save, like, her our life. fucking life. And then one day, our petty officer. Remember when petty officer got and marched with us? Mm-hmm. She's like, you fucking switched the Cadence five times. She I got it five yeah, times. She was mad. He said, why the fuck do you keep switching the Cadence? <laughs> Stop changing the pace. And I'm like, oh. Ooh, I'm shit. in the front, like, oh man, this is what we've been talking about. But see, that's the thing, like, okay, on a flag, you were a flag too, right? I was a flag and I was a rock. Okay, so as a flag, when you're in the front, everybody else is leading off of you. So you have to be on step. You have to make sure everything is perfect because that's going to be, like, if somebody's walking towards you, you're the first person that they're going to see. And if some, if A Rock or R Pac is throwing something off with the whole division, Everything's bucked. Yeah, it's looked like shit. So with the A-Rock singing like shit. Yeah, because their A-Rock is supposed to follow off of our pop's feet. So don't step up to be A-Rock if you cannot sing and stay on, like, beat. If you ain't got no rhythm and no voice, don't oh, do that. yeah. And you're it's not like, loud. Yeah, that's really what it is because you don't really have to be able to sing because they don't really want a singer because you can sing, but if your voice, if you don't have any projection in your voice, right. then you're not worthy the of milita- being an A-Rock. Yeah, like Woo! the military don't care about you being pretty or singing pretty. Just get the shit done. Right. You gotta be loud because it's gonna be other divisions who got amazing A-Rocks and they're gonna be loud and probably some of them can sing and be loud so you might as well pick which one you wanna be. And you don't wanna be that division that is like every time you get walked by, you get a bomb thrown on you. Oh, yeah. Did you get a bomb thrown on you all Regardless, even if we were loud, still. They hey, still. brother did used to throw bombs on us all the time. Sure did. Don't trust your brother did. Is that bombs Don't trust none of them divisions, cause they will. Motherfucker, it be it would be like other female divisions. They will. They wouldn't be loud when they when they coming up to us, but. Cause you're all be in doing competition. A competition. Yeah, it's all once competition. They you, you better be loud. Petty officer used to be like, louder. Hey, and she used to be pissed. Like you do not want to embarrass your RDCs. Sometimes you'll have a freaking other senior chiefs and other people like they'll correct up you people, they will come to your division they will tell you to stop they will tell you our pop part your division and they will yell and do whatever street hits whatever they got to do some people have gotten brown zulus for a whole division because they did good but that's rare act like act like you want to be there like even if proud. it's a simple cadence if it's a simple march from point a to point b act like you want to be there right scream the cadence until you do it actually anymore. scream like when y'all are able to sing with each other because you can't do that in the beginning but when y'all are actually able to sing with each other actually yeah. sing the songs like be loud because everyone loves a loud division facts and but I know towards the end we did really good like once we passed our drill when we passed our drill inspection and we realized oh we really ain't that bad. Really ain't that are. bad. We really ain't that shitty. I would say in any position with March and just take pride in it, whether it's A Rock, R Pop, yeah. Yeoman who has to carry a briefcase, any flag. Hey, and if you're Yeoman. What Arrow. the fuck? Oh. <laughs> Arrow. 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 But if you're Yeoman, you have to be in the front behind the flags because uh, since you're Yeoman, like I said, I'll explain in the other video, you have like responsibility of everybody. So there's certain documents that you have to carry on you that basically just holds the accountability of them. So please don't forget it. And please don't leave folder on the table, on the desk, 
We had that so many times with our young men. Oh, what? y'all did that too? What? Just leaving folders everywhere. Or put the paper on the yeah. correct table. Yeah. 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 Table, two. Yeah. table two. Table two. Table two. Table two. <laughs> Yo, remember when we was in shit, when we was in our first ship, and that, um... Uh, that one RDC used to come with the accent and I used to see him come in and he used to always check the table. Like every time I seen him coming in, I'll be like, Oh, you're going to have other RDCs come in there and two. check your deck log. Every time they I said three, he would be like, yo yeah, man. I'll be like, but here I go. And he always found a discrepancy. Always. It would be the smallest discrepancy. He will find it. And then man, remember the time I fucking, I left the fucking briefcase. <laughs> Sure did. Sure did. I thought I was, Did I get beat for that? Hit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he called it the street hit. He called it the street hit. Like, oh, well, we're going to get a street hit. Everybody, thank your young men for that street hit that we're about to get. Hey, remember she made me look at everybody and say that. Uh, <laughs> That's a good idea. Hey, so we didn't get a street hit, right? We did not. But the whole division thought we had a street head for like a good couple of days. And I was like, we didn't even get a street head. We but didn't even get stopped though. We didn't even get stopped. But oh, what did I, what was wrong? I don't know. Something was wrong with it. I can't even remember. But something was wrong with it. And they were just like, well, way to go, y'all, man. I used to be like, fuck, man. So you don't want to fuck up. Take pride in any, any, any position that you have. Our pop, oh my God. If you want to be our pop, you better have a good ass memory. You better good have a strong skills. ass arm. Um, yeah. Be a good leader. Uh, what's up here? So, Nothing. Buckle. Watch your recording. Yes. So, counter. One Chicago, two Chicago, three Chicago. Oh, shit. March. Bottom, 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 bottom. Division. Hold. Step, stop. See you. Three. Three, two, one. It would be like, it was another one time I saw, um, I am a stick, and yeah, I am yeah. the shit. Yeah, they were like, I'm a stick. You're welcome. Because I'm the shit. Yep. You got, yeah, being a flag. Oh, by the way, I just. Oh, it's recording. Whatever I just did. I don't know how I ended up in another uh, position in A school, but yeah, that shit happened. Oh, I didn't know it was still recording. I thought she stopped it. Oh, well, um, advice on sticks. a flag. A stick. Listen, you, well, for one, make sure that your division actually participates and does all the things that, all the things that, the activities that you'll be doing to get your flags, like shooting and academics and drill. That's just to name a few. Like, actually do them because if you don't do them right and get a high enough score, you're not going to have that flag. And you want to be able to have the flag because when you're out on the street, you want them to see and they be having that you flags. have all your flags. Like, oh my gosh, seeing everyone's flags is just like, oh, they Those got your that. Trophies. And if you see that they Facts. don't have that flag, you'd be like, oh, we got that flag, but they don't. Mm. We didn't have the athletic we didn't. flag. Oh, yeah, yeah, we had all the we flags. Had, I had the all the flags, flags except the marksmanship, I think. Whatever the one that's shooting. Oh, we didn't have that flag either. We didn't have, that was the only flag we didn't have. Oh, I thought we had that one. No, we didn't have Sheesh. that one. But, oh, that was a drill flag. Yeah. You got that, and, and you got to also have a strong arm because it's going to be some wind. Depending on what season you come in, no, it's going to be some windy days. It's going to be uncomfortable at first, but it's not meant to be comfortable. And you don't you want that stick to be your ass. Your arm going to be sore. This going to be your strong arm, boy, I promise. Hey, that Do not drop the flag. Please don't hey, me. if you are short, please be on top of your PFA and all your stuff because we had a situation where we lost, like, majority of our flags. Because they didn't pass their PFA. And even if you aren't a and flag, no make way. sure that you I would say as guideline, just listen. Listen to calls. Know where know where you're going. Memorize where, where you're going. Because motherfuckers used to be No, and also if you're our park, know where you're actually talk to your guide on. Our park and, and yeah, guide on talk to that. each when other. She came to she um she did that and Chief had noticed that because she had pulled the guy like she had pulled everybody to the side I know, and explained where yeah, we were going. Yeah, I know our park, she would always explain where we were going. I she never knew where I was going. She'll put me to the map, and she's like, okay, so we're going to go this way, this way, this way, this way. Like that. I never knew where I was going. I would just follow what was in front of me. And I would do the same thing, but until I got into a position where there was nobody else in front of me, I kind of just had to, I had to really learn. Oh, what you doing with that? Ooh, ooh, flag, ooh. flag one is going to be the heaviest flag. It's your personal flag. Make sure you get a good artist to draw. If flag. you can draw, please. 
take pride in that also. Oh, yeah. So they can go on, on sweatshirts and shirts and stuff. And coins and shit. It's basically gonna be the representation. If you draw and you could draw the flag for the ship, it's gonna be the representation of And you can and they keep it forever. I have my division flag on my coin. I bought it. What else? What else? Weary did showers. Drama. Um I didn't really know what was going on on the floor because I was always in the office. What happened here? What happened What drama? Um, stay out your leave, feelings. Leave that stuff to the side. Stay out your feelings. Honestly. With dramas, just stay out your fucking feelings. Everybody, everybody ain't your right. fucking friend. Nobody is your friend. Actually. Nobody's your friend. Nobody don't friend. make friends. But if you think they're your friends, they're not, and you're wrong. Yeah. They are, they're they're going to use you so that you can fold their clothes or make their bed or so get their mail. Don't show it. <laughs> But help your shipmates out. Don't listen to her. Help your shipmates out. But everybody's not your friend. Just keep it. You're working. You're there to do a job. And remember that, like, this is not summer camp. It's boot camp. Did you do watch? I can't help it. Yeah, I did do watch. It's one of those songs, I told them how a uh, petty officer beat me. Because I didn't know the answer on watch. Uh, you talking about RDCs? RDCs are cool as fuck. It depends on what you do. It depends on, right? Yeah. Man, our brother does RDCs. Yeah. I did like their cheap though. Their cheap was lit. Cheap Arnold? Yes. He was cool as fuck. Yeah, cool. I said cheap phrase. Uh, Petty Officer Willis. Oh, that was her name? Yeah, she Who? was cool was too. What was her name? Petty Officer Willis. Willis? Mm, she was cool. RDCs are cool if you stay out their face, and when you in their face, you're doing everything you need to do the right way. And if you show them that you're motivated. They're not good. They're not meant to be friends with you. They're not meant to be nice they're to you. They're there to train you. Those first few weeks, they're going to give you hell. But the more you show them that you want to be there, that you're determined to become a sailor, is the more they're going to be more relaxed. And, and then when you finally become a sailor, they're cool as fuck. And if they feel any sense of weakness, they're going to break you out of that. So if you are weak mentally yeah, or... Yeah, they fix me up. They're going to pick the weak ones out. <laughs> I'm just telling you that. that they fix me up. They're going to pick the weak ones out. So you might think you can hide, but baby, you cannot. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely. Don't be weak. Mind over matter, like... That's don't let whole thing is. facts like don't let what they say like they're gonna talk shit they're gonna see and honestly they're gonna see what breaks you down because they're gonna use that to motivate you mm-hmm. like if they know your family is your motivation they're gonna use that every time you're being weak or every time you're not doing what you're supposed to because a lot of people will be like why would they use that against me <sighs> you think your mom was gonna be happy that you can't do five push-ups <laughs> Again, taking shit personal. Man. Don't, Don't take, take shit personal. personal it's not. Hey, uh, Kelly. Cause at the end, when they see you graduating, they're gonna be so happy. Not because you finna be gone, but because they proud. Can I get you some more? What? I'm not oh, I don't like those. Oh, no, I don't those yeah, are yeah, the Oreos. Yeah, those yeah, are the Oreos. I don't like the. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Relationships don't have them. They're like, well, they're not gonna last. Don't I'm have sorry. them. They're not gonna last. Your boot camp boo, don't yeah, have them. My boot camp boo, use my oh, my oh, my oh. Don't, don't have a fucking boot camp boo. Because somebody who don't like you is gonna snitch on you. Yep. And you're gonna get in fucking trouble for having a boot camp boo. Plus, you're, well, just don't, you're just bored. Don't yeah. do it. Yeah. Don't do it. Can you see me? And if you get caught messing around or fooling around or or being all cuddy wubbly with your boot camp boo, and they um they sending you straight to the LCPO's office, and you gonna get beat because there was a uh, two individuals that got beat for like as much as they was able to beat them for, they got beat because you just you are going to the Navy to excel yourself and be better than what you can. You are being built into a sailor and if you're doing things that a sailor's not supposed to be doing or acting they gonna make sure they correct that and fix that because they will tell you they don't want no people they don't want people who's gonna be doing wrong shit like in the beginning they tell you to not what is it recruit to recruit contact Mm -hmm. no recruit to recruit contact if you have a recruit to recruit contact you're violating the cl's top six that's not only physical contact either that means if you're exchanging numbers social media all of that shit 
because when we were in quarantine, somebody got caught exchanging numbers and they got in trouble. So don't like do it. Don't do it. You're don't gonna. Do it. It's 2020. <laughs> you're gonna be able to get into contact with the people you was in boot camp with. Like. It's going to happen, so just chill the fuck out. Like, don't be like, oh my god, we're gonna talk to this person. No, you're gonna be cool. Just don't get caught doing dumb shit. <laughs> we like covered all that shit. Oh, we ain't covered none of that. What? Inspections, military bearing. I had no military bearing. Um, and it was hard for me. Just stay still. <laughs> stay still. It's the harder. Hard no, no, it's no harder sweat. than you can say it is. Now, the only time Ooh, I would yeah. say, don't I lock say. your knees. Do not lock your knees. Okay. Hell nah. I had no military bearing, and I was yelling, and I was in trouble all the time for it. The only time that it's going to be hard to have, like, military bearing, like, look straight, is when you in inspections. And that petty officer or chief walk past you, and they, like, stand in front of you. Like, look they forward. might not be looking at you. But they're gonna be like standing right in front of you and you won't you gonna be like what do you call it? A thousand yard stare? Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna be like, what can I do? Like, look. bro, that was you, yard you might be lucky. You might be lucky if you short. Hi. Don't look at like you short. Cause they won't have to they look into your you can just look at their chest. But if you tall and you look you in your face. Hey, and during that PI inspection, you're going to be standing there for a minute. So it's yeah. just like, just think about in your head, you don't want to be the one to fuck it up for the whole division. Oh, and be loud when you answer your questions. Are Even if you're wrong, be confident. Weekend? Yeah, do you want to give advice? Can I, okay. <laughs> Can it be about menstrual cycle shit? Are yeah. You, okay. <laughs> Ladies, don't be fucking gross, bro. Okay? <laughs> if y'all are in your fucking periods. Shit, <laughs> if y'all on your periods and shit, y'all know it's the time of the month. Be fucking clean about it, bro. Cause you're with all the females. You ain't like don't nobody be on that. I see too. some females in my division who don't know how to fucking clean themselves, right, bitch? Don't be that person. Don't leave your pads day, and your skivvies. Don't leave your pad and your skivvies. Do not. Don't leave hey, any But we understand though. Like there, there were some girls who would leave, like who would not, like not know they were gonna get it, and then stain their sheets, you know. Right. But like. Just be casual about it. Y'all are gonna be together for like a fat ass. Yeah, hour. No, we had this one girl who she left her pad in her fucking uh, PC pants. I twice. hate it when they used to do that, bro. Oh we my god. We wash our laundry on the same fucking washers and dryers. I don't need my fucking clothes being washed with your dirty ass fucking pads in the fucking washer. Don't forget that shit. That shit nasty. Look at just. <laughs> Don't but yeah, that. that's my advice. That shit nasty, bro. Like, don't forget, don't leave your tampons, your pads in the toilet. What? How? You no, shouldn't be doing that anyway, but you're going to probably You clog that toilet, you clean that shit up, period. Bro, literally. Don't the pee. Hey, 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 dead ass, don't pee in the shower. Oh, 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 oh let me tell you this. No, I was showering one day, and this was when it I was in rock. <laughs> and this girl, literally, she turned around, looked at us, turned around again, peed. We th- I thought it was hair dye, because I was like, is that hair dye? And I was like, looking around, and everybody was looking at me like, that's not hair dye. So I'm like, bro. And some girl dropped her washcloth right there. Duh. And I was like, ooh. So that be considerate. I got out of the shower. I went to my RDC, and I was like, hey, man. She just pee. And they gonna ask me this dumb question. Be considerate. They gonna ask me, did you ask her why she peed in the shower? <laughs> No, petty officer. <laughs> Why would I ask her that? Oh, and then when you when you're speaking, like learn that shit. Like talk to your recruiter about helping you on that. Like when you you have to sandwich it. Like if your chief asks you a question, you have to be like, chief. my first in order is chief. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all learn that yourself. I'm not telling you. You're not gonna say your first in order. My first in order is take charge of supposed to not right me. Period. Can we talk about the first letter and first phone call home? You might not get that shit. Phone Sorry, call. I'm phone so call. serious. You might not get that first phone call. You might not get that. You'll get. You'll be able to say hey, letters. Right? Get your addresses from your people. If you have people that you want to talk to when you're in boot camp, get. And when you are in quarantine, write your letters. And as soon as you get that chance, when you get out of quarantine, send them off. Yeah. Because it takes a minute for them to get it. Ask. Download ask Sandbox. Yeah, mm mm. They're gonna have to pay box. for sandbox. Yeah. So if they wanna do that, do that. If not, uh You're just not gonna get letters because it's, it's it takes seven to ten days for them to get it and then seven to ten days for them to get it back. You so. might get lucky sometimes, you might not. But also don't be don't be asking for a whole bunch of stuff 
don't ask for nothing. Like, you don't ask for no personal, food. don't ask for no food, no none of that. The only thing you really need to You don't need it. You're going to eat real good at the gallery. Right. Only thing you need to ask for. You ain't going to miss no meals. You're not going to miss nothing. You're going to have three meals a day. Yep, they're going to feed you. One thing that they will make sure you do is eat three times a day. Yep. But the RDCs will get their calories back. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, but yeah, you know, you're going to you gonna lose weight. You're going to lose weight. Whatever you mean, or you might gain. I gained. I gained in quarantine, but I lost it right back when I got out. I gained when I got out of boot camp, period. But the only thing I, I recommend you asking for, if you want to ask your parents or whoever you're sending mail to, is ask them for envelopes, paper, and stamps. Those are the only three things you need to be asking. Don't ask for no soap, no food. You gotta put your soap. Everybody sharing the same soap. Cause your A and B drawer, you might not be able to fit all of that in there. But I will say, Richie, when we first got out of quarantine, nobody really had shit, and she asked her mom for that. Oh yeah, and her mom sent it. But then she was able to keep the extra in the fishbowl because her mom like. Some artists be like, nope, you either gonna give it to somebody else or throw it away. If you ain't cool with your artists. Oh, also another thing. Kiss ass. Yeah. Kiss ass. Artists is gonna be looking at this like hell the fuck no. Some of them gonna be like, get out my face, but they gonna remember you. Hey, that is a good way. I know I said this earlier, but don't go to like, don't go to medical. No, don't. just don't. It's don't. It's no need for real, really, to go to medical. Cause there's been people I've heard stories where people done broke they ain't or sprained their ankle so bad, still ran PFA. Hey, that ass, I was and I so had the worst. Hey, I was fucked up. I had the worst pain in my knee, like for the longest time, and I refused to go to medical. Refused. I went to the galley and I was getting. I went and got an ice chip, and I was icing my leg. Oh yeah. Oh, and Davy, if you do that, also I seen that shit happen a lot. You be getting them ice chips and stuff, and you be just be sitting there a lot, like you do it all the time. Them RDCs gonna be like, you gotta go, cause. Yeah, because like, like, like the way girls. the way they gonna look at it. If you're a person that you're always going to medical, you're always getting hurt. Something's always fucking wrong with you. They looking at you like you're a liability because you're never physically fit to be able to complete the task that you need to complete. What the fuck you saying? <laughs> yeah, don't fucking go to medical. That's don't go to medical. Here. Don't, 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 don't look at. Well, I mean, I did, but. Don't be looking at them boys. <laughs> don't, be look, don't be looking at them girls. They don't be cute anyways. Don't be looking yeah. at them girls. I'm telling you, they're they not cute. Like the first, they first, them first few days they get there, they mm. bald headed. They look like little peanuts. Like, <laughs> you don't want no bald head. <laughs> I mean, now some oh, of them, some of them boy. Boy. <laughs> don't be getting no letters from them. Don't be asking for no phone numbers, no Instagram. Don't be, uh, don't be getting a leadership position and then going to sneak up with them because they in a leadership position. Don't do that. Hey, 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 hey. Don't be bad. Don't be bad. <laughs> Let me tell you a secret. For what? Because don't be, you gonna be standing and watching right, about? and you gonna see your brother deal across the hall. Don't be talking to the oh to, yeah to the person that across happens. Don't be don't be yeah. My last uh, my, my hey. last few days, we were actually like, cause I mean we were done. We did battle session and everything. We was actually like <laughs> writing letters through the window and like talking, but don't do that. Hey, you gonna get your ass beat. So somebody got told on because they was doing that in the the division in front of us. The dude that was doing it, he got asthma because of it. Because it's breaking the CO top six. Fraternization. So don't fucking do it. It's not worth it. But what you Moment of truth. Moment of truth, you guys. Hey, are y'all talking about Oh, oh my God. God. What you know? What you know about Okay, food? I got a story. I got sent to the fucking ship's LCPO you office. You got home higher. And the ship's officer's office. Don't fucking do it, okay? I almost got sent back to one tap one. Like Ooh. they had. Oh, they will send you back all the way okay. to first day. Full story, full disclosure. I'm not gonna name names. It was me and another recruit. And the story, long story short, is I was close friends with this girl. She and I were gonna study because we were about to have our first academic test. And we were studying in my rack. We had a bit of snacks. We stole from the fucking galley. We stole oh, we stole peanut butter cups, okay? Studying in my rack. That. We'll be putting it under their mattresses. Studying stuff. in my rack with a little bit of so snacks. So she was on one end. So, okay, so the pillow's over there. She was on this end, and I was on that end. 
and we had a bunch of Osmoans who didn't like me right away because apparently I was a bossy woman. I was though, not gonna lie, no cap, I was a fucking bitch. But I had my reasons. So I had my reasons. She fucking the next day one of those asthma wins went and snitched to the RDC and was like so and so and so and so were in the rack together and they had peanut butter cups. Damn. My ass was sent to the L C P O the next day. Look at day. that. Something so small, something so little that you might think in the regular world, like, oh well, that's it. No, don't do it. You shouldn't be in nobody's right. You shouldn't be touching nobody. You shouldn't be doing fucking nothing. Because not only is it recruiting group contact, but it's COVID. You're supposed to keep your six feet distant. Just don't fucking do it. Don't, and please, for God, don't be the fucking one when everybody's trying to go to sleep. Talking about some guys. We need to work together as a team. Like, it's not don't nobody work. care about that shit. I'm ready to go the fuck no. to bed. So I can wake up the next one. Yeah. Oh, do you want to eat? Where's your ear? I don't care where we eat at. But yeah, basically that. Just go in there with the mindset to get your shit done. Have a positive mindset. Powwows don't do shit. Like, they don't. Nobody gives a fuck Nobody because does. there's 90 people and you're going to be the one of the probably 25 that actually give a fuck. And the rest are just going to not give a fuck throughout the whole boot camp. So. Where you okay. going to eat at, Jones? It don't matter. We're, like, okay, we gotta finish this the, up because not this um, the galley or like what? over here. No, I'm good. Oh, yeah, why are you yelling? I'm oh no, yeah, that's why she yelling. There's actually one piece of advice I wanted to give, but I forgot what it was. Oh, don't think, just do. <laughs> because if you overthink some shit. You're going to freak yourself out, and then you're really going to fail at it. That's what I did for the PFA. I didn't even think about how much I had to run or how many push-ups or sit-ups I had to do. I just did the shit. I didn't, when I fucking started marching, I wasn't overthinking, oh, shit, am I on the wrong foot? Do I fucking pump the flag up here? I just started doing the shit. Then they didn't start yelling at me. I didn't have to do fucking push-ups because I called the wrong thing. Just don't fucking overthink shit. It's little, it's like little commands that they ask you to do or tell you to do and you just have to execute it in the right way. That's it. Just listen. Because if you do it right, I mean, yeah, they're going to find a reason to yell at you, but that's their job. And they're really. always going to yell. Even if you're doing it right, they're always going to yell. It's okay. That's just, their job. And your head be like, damn, did I really fuck up? And that's it. And just don't overthink it because, and then also if you fucking get in trouble, just take that loss and keep pushing forward because in two seconds later, they're going to not forget about it, but they're going to move on to the next fucking thing. Literally. So just stay motivated and it's really going to be okay. Always, it's going to be over. Next thing you know, like, it's going to be over. If you can make it through the first three weeks of boot camp, you can make it all the way to the end. And then, honestly, once you get out of boot camp, like, A school is the most chillest spot ever. Well, if you went to U.S. But A school will be another video. <laughs> but, yeah, so, if you go to boot camp, study, know your shit, stay fit, stay and good game. luck. Good fucking luck. Make sure you get a bonus. <laughs> Please. And that's what you have to say. You paying doing shit. <laughs> Y'all have anything else to say before I close this out? Um, can you Are you looking at me? Yep. You can do it. Get into it. You can do it. Get into it. Are you Oreo? Yeah. I'm talking fucking Oreo, dog. <laughs> you got this. Don't give up. Remember what we said in this video. I Bitch, hope this video did. You can follow oh. me on Instagram. Don't listen to them. You won't even have a phone to be able to follow her on Instagram. L-U-B-L-L-Y. Period. Again, L-U-B-M-E-K-E-L-L-Y. Or Lima. Uniform. Victor. Mike. Echo. Kilo. Echo. Lima. Lima. Yankee. I'll tag everybody's Instagram below. Bye, y'all.